depreciation. Remember, this is a new account that we were trying to measure the value of the long-term asset, specifically the part of the long-term asset that is no longer useful. So this is a measurement that we use in accounting. It's not that this asset really is missing a piece or something, or it's not that we're, actually, we're selling it out to anybody. We're actually just measuring it based on how we use it in the corporation. So the example we went over was the furniture example, remember? If we purchased an asset originally worth $18,000, as we use this asset in the business, even though it's always there, but we still want to measure that it has gradually been growing old. So we want to decline the value as time goes by. He okay, said so this entry here only rec recognizes a month of using this furniture. Remember, we're just capturing May. So assuming that this furniture has a lifetime for five years, then every single month if the company issues monthly statement, we'll be doing this exact same entry all over again. Okay, so we will spread out the cost of $18,000 divided by 60. Every single month, reduce the assets value by $300. So by doing this, this chapter introduced two new accounts. One is depreciation expense. So this account will capture, the debit side will capture the part of the asset, that the value that is no longer useful, the part that we want to deduct. And at the same time, we will be crediting accumulated depreciation. So remember this account is a special account. It's called Contra Asset Account. So all the Contra accounts later on in Chapter 8 will be introducing, uh, you'll be um, introduced to other Contra accounts. So basically, if it's a Contra liability, then it has the opposite direction of the regular liability account. So Contra means the opposite. So here's a Contra Asset Account. That means it goes hand in hand with one of the originally purchased asset accounts. So in this case here, the furniture case, it will be going hand in hand with the furniture account. So you will see on financial statements, you'll see furniture under the T accounts is the original historical cost. Then you will see a separate account listing next to it. It's typically below it. It will have the value of the asset that we want to represent is no longer useful. Okay, so contra asset account accumulated depreciation is a deduction account for furniture. Whenever you see any dollar amount there under the accumulated depreciation, then that means the company has owned the asset for some time. They have been using it for a while. And the real value of the asset right now is only 17700 Okay, so the more, the higher the amount you see under accumulated depreciation, that represents the longer the company has been owning this asset, has been using this asset. So that account will only go up. Later on, you will have another 300 there another 300 after the third month. It will become 600, 900, 1200. It will just gradually accumulate. So that at the same time represents the book value of the furniture will gradually be reduced. Okay, so the book value represents the current value of the asset. That is the original purchase price, historical cost. This is the part that we recognize that the value has readily been deducted. Okay, so when we journalize this entry, will be, again, debiting depreciation expense, crediting the contra asset account, accumulated depreciation. So this contra account has a normal balance here, the opposite of regular asset. It will be on the credit side. 